Hey guys, I am going to do a little bit of a different podcast this week and I'm going to talk about something really personal for me and I feel like it's something, a topic that's not really talked about a lot and that I haven't experienced a lot of support around or a lot of places that I can go turn to to get some advice on. So it's the topic of ageing parents. And I don't have any notes. I'm just completely talking, ad-libbing, uh, which I never normally do. I always have notes and or a full script to read from. So this is com something completely different and completely out of my comfort zone. But I wanted to challenge myself uh, to do something a little bit different and to start talking about some things a little bit differently, some topics that probably aren't talked about enough. One of the topics very close to my heart is the topic of ageing parents. My dad is fine. He's nearly 78. He's got a bit of forgetfulness, but he's sprightly. Uh, but my mother, on the other hand, has been very unwell for a very long time. In fact, I would say as far back as 25 years, uh, she had a psychotic episode 25 years ago and has struggled with mental health issues. And most recently, five years ago, she had a stroke, has put her, forced her into aged care, into a nursing home. Uh, she has come a long way though you know they gave her 48 hours to survive and she's defied all the odds i'm sure she's got nine lives that woman uh, and is now five years down the track but it's a challenge not only for her it is a very big challenge for her um, life can be cruel sometimes she had bowel cancer prior to the stroke and then was given the all clear from bowel cancer and had a stroke about 12 months later her stroke has debilitated her, made her disabled, given her a disability. She's paralyzed down her right side and has lost her ability to speak. Time management is precious for property managers with so many tasks to do every single day and week. Have you ever thought about how much time you waste in an average day troubleshooting annoying maintenance questions? Let me tell you, it's a lot, but there is a solution. They're called Rental Heroes, and they are the number one natural language AI conversation platform for real estate. What does that mean? They have artificial intelligence automation that deals with all your tenant maintenance inquiry. It even logs a job in your software, all without you having to do a thing. And if you thought that was amazing, wait until you try their chatbot that collects leads on your website 24-7. Now we all need a hero in our life, so why not make yours Alex? Mention this podcast and you'll receive your first month free. It only takes 30 minutes to set up and there are no lock-in contracts. Head to the show notes to book yourself in. She was able to speak and was improving her speech with some private therapy pre-COVID. But unfortunately during COVID and nursing homes were in lockdown and they weren't allowed visitors and my mum was left to her own devices a lot of the time uh, and only the staff there to communicate with her speech over time has deteriorated to the point now where she can say very very little one of the things that she does say, say and we often have a bit of a laugh and a joke about it because what else are you going to do you're either going to cry or laugh about it um, but one of the words that she says over and over again is we, 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 when she's trying to get something out that she wants to tell us. And we often say, do you need to go to the toilet? Is, is that what you're trying to tell us? Do you need to go to the toilet? And that usually brings out a laugh or a cry, depending on the mood that my poor mother is in at that particular time. And like, can you imagine, you know, having your loved ones and being around people and not being able to tell them anything, not being able to respond to anything. And her mind is sharp. She doesn't have dementia. She still knows 100% what's going on. She's probably a little bit dulled and numbed from all the medication that she's on, but she still is pretty sharp and knows exactly what is going on. You can say a joke and she'll still have a laugh. She still gets it, but she just can't respond and have communication. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Um, one of, you know, if, if any of your senses could go, um, I wonder, you know, I would not want speech to go. I mean, our, that's what we're all designed for as humans is to be able to communicate and connect with others. But that said, 
the challenging part for for me and for my sister is that we still have children at home we are both working full time or running businesses and just trying to balance caring and being there for uh, a, an aging parent or a high care or high needs parent um, is really challenging on our on our energy levels on our emotional levels you know so many different levels uh, it is another thing that we've got to add that you know accumulates the stress um, accumulates the time challenges and, it, and as much as you know i love my mother and i will always be there it is really hard finding that time and space um, to be present with her I want to spend time with my mother it usually means sacrificing something else I have to sacrifice time at work. I have to sacrifice time with my children and um, or watching their sport on the weekend. I spend a lot of time in Sydney throughout the year. My eldest boy is playing footy down there and it means not being able to get down and watch sport. And if anyone who knows me knows one thing about me is that I absolutely love sport and in particular rugby league. Um, so it means sacrificing that and you know, it's sometimes exhausting trying to juggle how am I going to fit fit in time for each each of those different things. And I'm very conscious I've had, as you all know as well, I've had a, a lot of struggles with stress and in particular I've had a heart condition from chronic long-term stress. Property inspections, entries, exits, incomings, outgoings, routine inspections, whatever you call them, you have to do them. And I remember when I first started as a property manager, you had to handwrite the reports and take notes on a digital camera, then upload the photo memory card to your computer and hope and pray that they weren't all blurry or your computer had enough memory to store them. But gone are those days. Thanks to Inspection Express. Now, Inspection Express is not only the number one tool used by leading property managers across Australia and New Zealand, but the leader in groundbreaking new tech in the industry with the launch of 360 degree virtual tours. Now virtual tours is upping the ante, giving landlords, owners and directors unparalleled 360 degree virtual access to their properties. So head to the link in the show notes to book in your free demo with Inspection Express. So I'm very conscious these days of managing my stress levels and making sure I'm not trying to do too much and taking care of myself um, in amongst taking care of everybody else around me. I need to take care of myself or I've got nothing left to give anybody else in my world. But this topic of dealing with aging parents, and I'm sure for people my age and our generation, younger and younger, well, we're feeling younger and younger, and we're still busy in the throes of running families and businesses and working sometimes battles that come with their aging like dementia and alzheimer's and disabilities puts a whole new layer and responsibility on us as their children it's not something that i guess we've been educated on or um people have really talked about a lot like how do we how do we do it like how do we juggle it all and balance it all and not feel guilty and that's probably the biggest struggle for me i feel guilty i feel guilty if i'm not there for my mother i feel guilty if i'm not there with my children um and i feel guilty if i'm not you know running my businesses because that's how i you know i, I need to be running businesses because i still need to be paying bills and mortgages and school fees it's a lot of guilt so if anyone you know can offer any advice or can empathize or share this this issue with me um i would love to hear from you because there is no support groups or i haven't seen come across any platforms that can you know talk you through some of these challenges and offer some solutions to the challenges that we have but i guess another side to to this conversation uh, and then i would like to offer some advice to anyone who is going through or um, wants to prepare for something who knows their parents are aging and they're not in great health um, one of the the best things that we did with our mother before she got really unwell um, before she had her bowel cancer uh, we took her into a solicitor and got her to sort out her will 
um, an enduring power of attorney, which basically gives my sister and I power to make decisions for my mum if she was incapacitated, if she had dementia, if she had Alzheimer's and she was unable to make decisions for herself. Uh, it allows us the authority to make decisions for her. And the third thing we did, which a lot of people don't talk about, is um, it's called an advanced healthcare directive. And this basically, while somebody is still at sound of mind, they are able to make their healthcare decisions uh, for themselves. If you are anything like me, you think you know your rent roll numbers. Well, I thought I did until I had a rent roll health check and I was quite literally shocked. The money I was leaving on the table was astounding. And this is not something that I'm proud to admit. There were mismanagement fees, let fees, advertising and lease renewal fees not being charged and properties even without bonds. And all of this was happening despite monthly audits being conducted in my business. So how did I uncover all these gaps in my valuable income? Well, I had a rent roll due diligence from my good friend Tazi, aka the Rent Roll Queen and founder of the Tazi Way, a specialist in rent roll due diligence, business valuation and management rights. The Tazi Way is the innovative force driving the real estate industry with 25 years of business and real estate acumen. They find gaps and risks in your agency to find undiscovered value. If you'd like to book your business in for a rent roll due diligence, head to the link in the show notes and mention that property mum for a 10% discount. So this is great in, in a couple of ways. The first way is that it takes responsibility off your loved ones so that you don't have to make difficult decisions that can be traumatizing um, that you know you can feel a lot of guilt over did i make the right decision did i not make the right decision the person making their advanced care directive gets to put all of their wishes in writing and it's it's a legally binding document that's signed off by a solicitor um, so their wishes coming towards end of life if they had to go into palliative care um, if they were on life support all of those decisions are made while they are still sound of mind. So, um, and we have had to put that into effect with my mother. Uh, while she was having her bowel cancer surgery, her bowel actually burst inside of her and she ended up with septicemia. Now, if anyone is not familiar with septicemia, it's a very serious um, infection. Not a lot of people survive it, especially not um, when it's your bowel involved. And um, so my mother was on life support, she was in a coma and um, I think for about a week and that advanced healthcare directive was a, a lifesaver for my sister and I because obviously we were already going through, you know, all the emotions, we were traumatised, we were just in, in, and in shock I guess and what that did was alleviated a lot of the stress from us having to make some um, really hard decisions because my mum's wishes, should it get to certain stages of her healthcare, we knew exactly what she wanted us to do. Um, thankfully, it worked out well and, you know, another one of my mother's lives kicked into gear and she fought it and came back stronger and um, went on to, you know, live the next chapter of her life. So. Those three things, wills, power of attorney, and advanced healthcare, healthcare directive, if you've got aging parents, um, and even for yourself. Um, I've put those three things in place for myself now as well, because I don't want my children to have to be traumatized or live with the guilt of having to make those decisions for me um, or, your, or your husband or your partner. I think it's really important to, to think about that. And this might be a confronting subject. And a lot of people, we don't want to talk about this sort of stuff, but it is really important, especially as our parents are coming to that stage of their lives as well. And, you know, making things easier, better, you know, I guess, yeah, I guess easier. I hate saying the word easier because it sounds like you don't want to have to deal with it, but dealing with it now, I think will make it easier if any of you get to that stage later on. So I just thought I wanted, I just wanted to share something a bit more personal. Um, it's a topic that I do struggle with. Um, I, you know, finding that balance, finding that integration of my, of caring for my mother and supporting my mother and then still, you know, doing all the other things that you've got to fit in 
to our busy lives. Um, it just adds a whole other layer of stuff, of things, of responsibility. Um, so if anyone else can relate, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, reach out if this is a struggle for you as well and you need some support as well. There's been so much talk of stress, overwhelm and burnout in property management lately. Do you want to know how I overcame all of that? Yes, I hit rock bottom multiple times, but I got myself a virtual assistant. Actually, not just one, but three. But I didn't just get any VA, I got a PMVA. What are they? Well, they are the most well-trained in the business. And not only that, you also have a backup VA. So that essentially, your business is never without admin support ever again. And my health, time and business has never looked back. Your PMVA can take care of tasks like rent arrears, lease preparation and renewals, maintenance follow-up, routine inspection bookings, data entry, audits, prospecting, inbox management, and so much more. And the best part of implementing a PMVA in my business was that it freed up my time and my team's time to take care of important things like customer service. What makes me feel so safe is that PMVA is owned by Tiffany Botel, both here and in the Philippines, making my data secure and giving me more control over the VA arrangement. So head to the link in the show notes to book in your discovery call with Lady Boss Tiff. Okay, tell me, would you like to make maintenance your superpower? Well, you can, and you don't even need to tell anyone, it's all thanks to Tappy a powerful property care software that takes all the pain, stress and chaos out of dealing with maintenance and turns it into a predictable process that is reliable and frictionless, where every maintenance process is a smooth experience for everyone, with value adds that your owners and tenants will absolutely love. And it seamlessly integrates with your property management software too. And here's the bonus, it can actually help grow your business as well. And if you're rolling your eyes at me right now and thinking, yeah, right, I've heard all this before, then do yourself a favor and book in for a demo at tappy.com.au. Mention That Property Mum and receive one month free on Tappy. Can I ask you a quick favor before you leave this episode? Now, we all know how important reviews are for businesses these days, and mine is no different. If you could spare just a minute to follow, rate and review this podcast, it would mean a lot to me. In fact, what would get me super excited is if you share this podcast with someone in the industry who you think might need to hear some of the episodes right now. And if you'd like to find out more about working with me or any of the products I have to help you start, grow or scale your property management business, head to my website, thatpropertymum.com.au or check out the links in the show notes.